Hello, I'm Stanley Miller. And I'm Harold Urie, and he, we're here to talk to you today about the Miller-Urie experiment. You see, in 1953, Stanley and I conducted an experiment that tested the early Earth's atmosphere. Harold and I began by constructing a series of tubing which contained a boiler, a spark chamber, a condensing column, and a collection trap. We proceeded to pump out all air from the chambers and pump in water, methane, ammonium, and hydrogen, all of which are hypothesized to have been in Earth's early atmosphere. Do note that there was no oxygen in the chambers. My friend Yuri here hypothesized that in Earth's early atmosphere, oxygen would not have been present, as it would have been created as life forms began to produce it. Continuing on with our experiment, we proceeded to boil all of the water in our chamber. This caused the water to evaporate and rise up into the spark chamber of our tubing. Once in the spark chamber, we proceeded to run high electricity through two electrodes located in the spark chamber. These two electrodes were used to simulate lightning storms during the early Earth's atmosphere. After being exposed to the electrodes, the gases continued to move through a condensing column, which cooled the gases down back to liquid form. These liquids then continued to drip down into the collecting trap where we could extract them. Miller and I then proceeded to extract a sample of the resulting liquid. After chemical analysis, we found that a plethora of amino acids had formed in the liquid. From our results, we concluded that amino acids, or the building blocks of life, could be formed from Earth's early atmospheric conditions. Due to scientists claiming that oxygen was in early Earth's atmosphere, much controversy was started over our experiment. However, our experiment did inspire other scientists to do experiments, which turned out to be highly significant. This includes Juan Oro, who found that amino acids could be created through other methods. Well, this concludes today's episode of Science Daily. Hope to see you again tomorrow.